The world is but a stage, and we are but the players. Ah, oh, that's great, Frederick. Good job. Thank you very much. Yeah. You love acting, don't you? I love to perform in all its various ways. Well, that's great. So, we made puppets yesterday, right? Yeah, one of them's me. Ah. <laughs> so today, we are going to make a theater for them to perform in. Uh, I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over there, and I'm gonna watch. And I'm very happy that you're here. And I hope you have as much fun as we are going to. Okay, bye. All right. So again, the same supplies as yesterday, except we don't need the glue. Um, we do need the scissors. We need a. We need our watercolor paper, or if you don't have watercolor paper, use cardboard. This is very important. It can't just be the flimsy, regular, like, computer paper. So, again, if you don't have this thick watercolor paper, definitely get some cardboard. I'm sure there's a used box somewhere that somebody will let you cut up. Um, if there's not today, then just wait around a few days You'll get a box, I promise. Um, you can also use the kind of box that like cans come in, like if you get cans of soda or something like that, um, or like a cereal box. You could use the side of a cereal box. Get creative with your garbage before you throw it out. Don't dig through the garbage. Do it before you throw it out. Chances are you're gonna find something, okay? Get your paintbrush. Get your watercolors. Get your water, and that's pretty much it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is with this piece of paper, we're gonna fold it a little bit. So we're gonna take about this much in on each side, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and bend it. Like that, and make that a really good fold. So go over it a few times. Okay. And then unfold it. So it's like that. And then do about the same amount on this side. And this is an old piece of watercolor paper that I used for something else. I made some birds on the back and a dolphin. But I'm going to use it for my puppet theater. So I can, I'm going to cut it up. All right, so now we have two folds like this, okay? And this is our blank canvas. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut just a little bit out of from here and then down and then across here and then back up. So we're basically making a square. Now, get an adult to help you make the hole in the middle that's the easiest way to do this. So unbend these, bend just a little bit right here, like that, just this little part here. Have your adult help you make a little cut. There we go. So now we have a little hole in the middle, okay? So what we're gonna do with that hole is we're gonna come up and make sure there's about an inch that you leave. And then you're gonna cut across until you hit that fold. You're gonna come down that fold. And you're gonna leave a couple of inches down here. So just go to about there. Okay. And then you're gonna come up. Oh, you're gonna come across. You're gonna go until you hit that next fold. And then you're gonna go up that fold. And you're gonna meet it at this line. If it's easier for you, you can make the lines ahead of time with a pencil and then cut along the lines. That's easier for a lot of people. For me, it's easier just to go ahead and cut but a lot of people prefer to draw the lines out first. Okay, so there we go. So now, 
that we do next is we are going to paint this. So I want the bottom to look kind of like wood. So I am going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go dip into the brown and I'm going to paint across like that. And I'm going to do some more. Keep going across. A little bit more. And the easiest thing to do is to move your paper around instead of moving yourself around. Anytime you're painting, it's easier to move the painting around than it is for you to move around or to get into like uncomfortable positions. So there we go. Kind of looks like wood. And to make it look even more like wood, I'm going to take some black. I'm not going to get the black too, too wet. I'm just getting it a little tiny bit wet. And I'm going to make little lines coming down like this so that it looks like it's slats of wood. So it's like a bunch of pieces of wood put together. All right. There we go. See that? All right. And now at the top, I am going to get red. And this is going to look like a curtain kind of. And we're going to paint the top of this, or not a curtain, kind of an, a, what's called an awning. So like, almost like an umbrella over a doorway. All right. So let's get some more red. Keep going across. Here we go. We're almost there. And now if you want to, you can paint these sides. I'm not going to because I don't think I need to really. Um, but you totally can if you want to. But what we are going to do now is show you how it becomes a puppet theater. And I think what I need to do, so make sure you fold it a little bit again, just to make sure those creases are good. And now, I'll have it at the end here. It's kind of a funny angle. There we go, that works. All right, now we are ready. Oh, the puppet show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Frederick! Woo! And Chapman! Oh, it's Frederick and Chapman, the penguin and monkey, playing on the fun stage. You guys, you have a little puppet theater now. How fun is that? So now you can use this for finger puppets if you have any finger puppets or you can use it for these kinds of puppets. Or if you wanted to, you could have an invasion of a larger puppet. Oh, hello! <laughs> I'm in your theater. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining us. We hope you had fun making your theater. And if you want to, you could even, oh, sorry, Frederick. All right, if you want to, you could even write puppet theater either down here or up here. I don't want to do it right now because it's still wet, but you can totally do that so that people know this is your puppet theater and welcome to the show. All right, you guys, thank you so much for uh, being fun puppets and yeah, thank you. Um, oh boy, what you doing? Thanks for helping us make a puppet theater. Okay. Good job, Frederick. Good job, Lisa. Good job, everybody. We love you. Okay, goodbye, everybody. We love you.